In this video, we're going to take a look at the new tool, Emboss Along the Curve, featured in Geomagic's Freeform 2013 release. To demonstrate its capabilities, we're going to use the textures captured in the texture capture video for the 2013 release. In order to emboss along a curve, I have to first draw the curve. The first demonstration will be the zipper texture that I captured in the previous video, and I'm going to run it along a single curve. I've left myself a marker where the zipper should start, and then following the contour of the boot, I will lay out the zipper's path. In order for emboss along a curve to work properly, you have to be working with a fit curve. Now I'm just going to go in and make sure that the path is correct. Coming off the button marker and heading straight down. The tangency is set correctly. It's a fit curve. So now I'm going to open up the Emboss Along Curve tool, which is located in the Detail Clay palette next to Emboss with Wrapped Image. So I'll choose Emboss Along the Curve. And on the Dyna bar, my first option is along one curve. I'm going to leave the default set and then choose the texture by clicking on image thumbnail. I have the zipper prepared on my desktop. I'll select it. And for width, I'll choose 10 millimeter. And for the max height, I'll choose 2 millimeters. Now, we have a create a new piece icon. I'm going to turn that on and set the clay coarseness to custom and then 0 0.05 as this is a small detail. Now when I select the curve, instantly a preview is generated. And then I'll go ahead and hit apply. And a new object is added in Boss Clay to the object list. So I'm just going to paint that clay for visual, turn it gray, and hide the curve. Now I'm going to call up the zipper body and the zipper tab which I prepared earlier and show you the finished look. So in the next example I'm going to show emboss along curve using two curves. And to do that I'm going to use the laces example from the texture capture video. So I'll just draw the boundary curves that I want the laces detail to run between, like so, making sure fitting is still on, and running the curves down the boot like so. If I need to make any adjustments. widening out this area. Great. So now that I have the curves drawn, I'm going to go back to the detailed clay palette and choose emboss along the curve again. This time choosing the second option between two curves, clicking on the image thumbnail choosing the laces, and turning off create as a new piece. I can now select the first lace and the second lace, and the preview will automatically generate. I'll set the height to 4 millimeter. So if I was to set repeat to 2, you'll see that the pattern only repeats itself twice. And as I increase, it increases the number of repetitions. I think 4 will look good here. The height is good, and we'll hit apply. And this time, the texture is baked right into the boot.
All right, so the next example is actually similar. I'm going to use the laces again. So I'm going to undo the emboss I did. And this one also works between two curves. Delete these two. The difference here is the first curve that I lay down, the image will be split down the middle along that curve. So drawing a curve down the middle of where I want the laces to be placed. And then a second curve is used as a guide. And this will make more sense in one second. The fit curves are both on. Go back into detailed clay. This time choosing emboss along curve, the third option along a curve with guide. I need to choose the center curve first and then the outer curve and the texture is applied like so. So it's just another way to control the way the texture is applied to the surface. The last option I want to show you is skip first and skip last. They're very self-explanatory. If I click on skip first it skips the first pattern and the same on the last. And this could be used when your texture comes up to an edge and you start getting undesirable effects at the tip of the texture. Let's say here or at the bottom. So turn that back off and I'll hit the height to 5 millimeter and apply to bake in the texture. And there we have it. I'll just go ahead and hide those curves. And we've been able to quickly apply these textures captured using the new texture capture feature and then embossing along the curve.